Guruji, I am framing a question. I am not able to find it in this. Mm. You say the self is the architect of sorrow. Mm. You have only written the question. I am trying to frame it and trying to find out whether mm. I can convey it properly to you. Mm. But at the same time, mm. time also seems to be an architect of sorrow. Mm. Because the past remains as memory and and it keeps flowing and intervening with the present mm. all the time. Mm. So, would you find fault with self or would you find fault with time? Um, if you look at the tradition, the Mahabharata, for example, then uh, they point a finger at time uh, and saying that time is the mischief maker. In fact, the expression time is the mischief maker is Krishna Ji's words, mm-hmm, not mine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in the Mahabharata, uh, they say that uh, Kala, they call it Kala, it's everything, it'll, it'll make a king into a beggar and a beggar into a king, that kind of a topsy-turvy thing. And, uh, but now what do we bring in the self? Now, uh, there is uh, an agency inside which seems to be very powerful and which wants to be the master controller of life. And it is the giver of pleasure and the giver of pain, both. And uh, that seems to uh, uh, suffer and enjoy depending on the moods of time. So it's got some kind of servitude to time and uh, time is Adi Shakti. And uh, now, where are we? Are we with Adi Shakti or are we with the self? We are with the self. We are the self. Correct. Correct. We are with the self. That's what we know. Hmm? A direct experience. Correct. That uh, we see that there is evil in us. We see that we are very divisive in thinking. I pull some thought from the past mm. and this I gets, as mm. you say, it's not a noun, it's a verb, it's verb, a moving it's energy. Moving energy. So That's it. I see it moving mm. in consciousness. Yeah. Through a thought which is there in the past, mm. uh, you're not free of that influence of the thought on. Mm. I'm not free of the influence of the thought on me. Mm. Correct? So the self immediately, there is a moving. There yeah. is a, in alignment with the thought which is there in time. Right. In Correct. the past. Memory bank. So <coughs> this I was hearing to uh, <coughs> Master's uh, small slippet yesterday and it suddenly struck me. Mm. that uh, And you had also posed a question. Mm. So it suddenly struck me that time and self, they are interrelated in one way they they are actually this self is the fallen divine let's put it that way and that adi shakti which is uh, behaving in a very aberrant way not in a peaceful and divine way but in an aberrant way these two are husband and wife okay <laughs> they, so, they form a pair hmm? but this self is something that can be Observed. Mm. Mm. That which observes, mm. isn't that the actual self? Yeah, you've got to go back to the algae man metaphor mm. where much of the body of the algae man mm. is pure awareness mm. and the slime and the algae on him mm. is all the attachments, the contaminations, the prejudices, the opinions, mm-hmm. the divisiveness, the mm-hmm. separation. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a huge dichotomy. It is all this uh, lower stuff on the one hand and yet, when cleaned, it will shine like a thousand suns. Ah, like in, in, like in Brahma Jnana Vali, Adi Shankara, there, there you is go. Drig Drishya. A, yeah. There is Drig Drishya. Drig is uh, the actual self. Mm. And Drishya is Maya. That's what mm. he says in yeah, Brahma Jnana Vali. Drishya, Viveka. You got discriminated mm-hmm. between the two. So, the so, self <coughs> appears only in Maya, no? Yeah, but you need time to make that Maya ache. Mm-hmm. And uh, that awareness which watches uh, is uh, the part of that, the body of the algae man metaphor, which is not contaminated. And uh, uh, that, there's a deepening mystery there. We'll, we'll go into it on another occasion. Absolutely, Very deep mystery. absolutely, mm. absolutely. I'm so happy to converse with you, Guruji. Me too. Thank me you too. so much. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you so much. much.